Hello my friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's pick a card reading, I really wanted to do what is the future of this connection, whatever type of connection you're in. And I'm filming this on April 8th, which is the date of the eclipse. So I'll probably actually be filming one of these piles or maybe two of them after the eclipse. I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I am going to get the names for these decks for you. I'm going to have to ask my friend what the name of this one is. These are all from Etsy. Um, so yeah, I'll grab those names and I will leave it in the description. So for pile one, we have, let me show it to you up close. We have this piece of amethyst. Focus! <laughs> for pile number two, we have obsidian. And for pile number three, we have Aura Quartz. So if you need a minute to sit with the energy, please feel free to pause the video and I will see you at your pile. Hello, pile one, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this piece of amethyst, this is going to be your reading about what the future of this connection is. Um, I do have oracle cards that I'm going to get into, but I want to shuffle because the oracle cards are going to take up are going to take up the entire table. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are well. Interesting. So right away we have the devil in reverse on the bottom. Very interesting. So I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be currently in separation with this person. Um, we are going to look at the oracle cards, and I think you'll be able to tell pretty quickly if it's your pile or not, because I'm going to describe the current energy, and then we're going to look at future and the future of this connection. Um, but I just wanted to shuffle, and it could be that you are trying to detach from this person, or you have detached from this person. Um, possibly you had a codependent connection or, you know, there seemed to be a very strong pull towards each other, maybe push pull. And I feel like you are detaching right now from this person. We have four of cups, so it feels, and the hierophant. So right away, I feel like you are trying to detach from this Four of Cups situation where maybe you didn't feel appreciated or you felt it just didn't seem like things were going well. Um, we do have the Hierophant here, so it could have been that you wanted more of a traditional connection. You wanted possibly stability, commitment. Maybe this person wasn't ready. You could be someone who's really focusing on your spiritual growth right now with the Hierophant, focusing on I'm spiritual involvement. <clears throat> oh my goodness. So maybe you're even starting to start your own path as a, a spiritual person, a spiritual advisor. All right, so we have the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, you could have been dealing with someone who was emotionally immature or unavailable. Um, Page of Cups, you could have a very strong, intuitive pull towards this connection. Ah, I bent you, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, hang on, I need to love on this card for a minute. Oh, this card was already bent. <laughs> It bent in, um, when it came, there was one card that was bent, and that's why it bent when I shuffled. My poor card. I'm going to stick you in there. It's the Six of Swords, though, so that's kind of symbolic um, because of that, that energy of detachment that I'm feeling. So you could be really focused on yourself. You could be trying to move on from this connection, you know, and maybe your intuition still says there's something there. Maybe you physically moved away, traveled away from it. We have the wild card. Interesting. And the wheel of fortune. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. The Queen of Pentacles. So you could be very focused on... You could be very focused on your career right now or your home. We have temperance. Whoops, I have it upside down. We have temperance here. So it feels like... It's interesting how that is similar to that Six of Swords energy walking away. You could be really focused on yourself right now, trying to be patient with yourself. I do feel like something was imbalanced in order, like I feel like there's a separation because there was an imbalance between you and this person. We have the King of Cups and the Empress. Wow. Interesting. I just, I feel like this person may not have been emotionally available. Like they may have been, it may have been very intense for them. Um, oh, I'm hearing so many things. For some of you, for some of you, you could have been in a connection or been married when you met this person that we're talking about today. Interesting. All right. Well, let's look at the, we'll look at the Oracle cards first. <laughs> I have a lot of them. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with your person. And we're just going to have a look at the energy here. So the first thing here, I'll do this. That's your person. That's you. You may find it reversed. That's all right. Just take it reversed. So I'm actually going to look at this first, which is the current energy between you. And we have the shaman. And I feel, I feel right now, and it's, it kind of showed in the tarot while I was shuffling, is that right now I feel like you are someone who is exploring your spirituality. You're someone who's exploring the meaning of maybe what this connection was supposed to be. I feel like you felt a spiritual connection with this person and maybe the ending or what went down between you confused you. And I feel with this energy that you were meant to learn lessons from this person. And I feel like they were meant to learn lessons from you. I feel like they were meant to go through some type of healing with you and you were meant to spiritually awaken um, through this connection to your gifts and grow into your power is what I'm hearing. There is something rare about this connection I'm getting and I just feel this energy of you reaching into your spirituality, reaching into the deeper meaning of things, um, maybe trying to find your way on your own soul path. And I feel like this person could be going through some type of transformation where they're shedding some type of skin or that's, I feel like they were meant to heal through this connection. Um, <clears throat> One thing that I was thinking, though, is this could have been someone who thought that you could heal them or they thought that, I don't know, I'm going to come back to that energy, but I'm feeling this energy of this person. how can I describe this? This person could have thought that you were exactly what they wanted, exactly what they needed. And they could have been struggling with old wounds. And it could have been that this person thought that those wounds would kind of disappear if they met the right person. Or I feel like those wounds resurfaced in this connection and this person is realizing that it's something within them that needs to heal, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> <clears throat> but yes, I feel like right now you're learning how to 
possibly listen to your intuition. You could possibly be learning a lot about spirituality. And I feel like you are finding your power is what I'm hearing. We also have forgiveness. Temperance. Oh, that didn't even... I forgot about that. So temperance was on the bottom of the deck after the shuffle. And I feel like this right now... I don't think that you and this person are together right now. And I feel like right now there's a lot of self-growth going on. There's a lot of self-reflection. Learning how to forgive yourselves for some of the things that are unhealed within you. Perhaps there's an important lesson of forgiveness within this connection. You know, maybe someone did something wrong and it's a connection that's meant to teach you unconditional love. Um, it's very, it's a very spiritual connection. This isn't, you know, this, this is a very deep spiritual connection is what I'm hearing. All right. And like I said, I feel like right now you're both learning about yourselves and learning how to forgive yourselves and others. So maybe you and this person, you know, maybe you're both mad at each other or you both think you owe each other an apology or something. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to get into your side. <clears throat> I'm having problems with my throat chakra now. Interesting. So on your side, we have claim your power. And this is 25. So high priestess, hierophant energy, reclaiming your higher self is what I'm hearing. Um, I definitely feel like through this connection, through this separation, you're learning you're growing and you're learning your worth and you're learning that you have intuitive gifts. The tiger is um, divine feminine energy. It's so funny. It's so funny, you guys. I was, I don't know if I have some number threes in here, but I'm sharing a personal story. <laughs> I was asking the universe for a sign <laughs> and I was like, I'm home alone with my dogs. How am I ever going to get a sign? <laughs> And yesterday when I was filming my face reading, my dog Bear was in the room. And when I came downstairs, he's such a weird dog. He he picks things up and then he holds them in his mouth. Um, almost like a soother and he looks really guilty. It's a hilarious thing. Anyway, after all of my readings yesterday, I came downstairs and for the entire day, he had been holding a tiger, a tiger that he took off my shelf in his mouth. He was holding it all day <laughs> and he spat it out at my feet. And I'm like, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is because <laughs> it was a tiger and tigers are, you know, divine feminine. Anyway, it was just, I thought it was interesting. <clears throat> so you could resonate with divine feminine. Like I said, the shaman, forgiveness, temperance, the, the tiger, it's very counterpart energy. Um, I wonder, can you guys see that zebra that's there? I hope you can. I can't see because my, my phone holder thing is blocking that part of the camera. Anyway, so yes, let's keep going. Actually, you know what? You'll we'll do your person's energy now. <laughs> That's interesting. Your person tried to jump out of my hand. <laughs> I just heard we have a runner. <laughs> so keep trying for, and this is, you know, that's emperor energy. Um, so this person could be trying to find stability right now. This is kind of, this is, I just got, I just lost my train of thought. Hang on. I just, an affirmation popped down on my phone about something coming to a peak. And it was so quick that I couldn't see it. But anyway, so maybe something's coming to a peak. 
we have keep trying here and the story behind this card is actually about a girl who tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to heal and find magic and happiness and she spent so much time looking outside of herself for it and she realized that it was with within her and it could be that, like I said, this is someone who thought if they just found the right person that all of these problems may go away or those wounds wouldn't resurface. And this person could have depended on you in a way to fulfill them or to heal them in some sense, and they needed to learn that it was within them. This could be also someone that you've had multiple connections with, reconnections with, just because I see keep trying. And you'll notice in this card, you know, it is four. So it could be that this person has made multiple attempts or you've both made multiple attempts to make this spiritual connection work. And you'll notice each time the starfish grows in size. Um, Anyway, I feel like this person is realizing that stability and confidence and those type of things come within. They need that within themselves. They need a stronger foundation within themselves is what I'm seeing. And, you know, this this claim your power is very Queen of Swords energy. It's very much knowing your worth, releasing what you know doesn't serve you. So like I said, you could be someone who kind of said, I deserve more. Um, or you could have been someone who had to find your power, you know, I am going to, I'm, I'm going to touch on that card actually here. 25. Tiger summons you to connect with your greatest power to overcome yourself, to overcome your doubts, fears, insecurities, and illusions of the ego and to use boundaries. So like I said, you could have been someone that put up a boundary. This is also reclaiming your power. I'm seeing divine feminine, you know, and you reclaiming, you know, as a divine feminine, your higher self wants you to be connected to spirituality. And I feel like you're learning to let go of, like this card said, the doubts, the fears, the over thinking it, the questioning it. And I feel like you're starting to actually surrender to the magic of the spirituality and the magic of the synchronicities and all of that. Um, someone in my comment section this morning was like, is this demonic? Is this just a game? Someone said this is demonic. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> it's those types of things that come up. Like, seriously, I almost spiritually awakened when I was 20 and it took it took me one test of someone saying something like that and I was like oh no this isn't for me but it was religion like at 20 um, I had an aunt that was trying to awaken me to Jesus and it took one person making a comment and I was like nope no 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 not for me so it's not demonic. <laughs> anyway, so you could be someone who's really trying to trust that this isn't demonic. It's not a game, that there's actually something far bigger than you can understand going on here. And I feel like you're trying to embrace it. You're stepping into your power. You know, you're learning how to look at yourself and spiritually evolve here. Anyway. It's supposed to be about the future of the connection spirit. <laughs> so you could have went through something like this. Enough is enough. <laughs> you could have hit a point where enough was enough in this connection. Tiger does not appear now with the feminine energy of allowing. This is the masculine energy of taking action and creating what you want. It's time to care more about the end goal than the heavy emotions you are currently feeling. This action, sorry, the action called for 
here is snap out of the illusion and get your thoughts into gear. When you change your thoughts, you change the world. The world around you changes. Get in control of your thoughts and transform the story you tell yourself. You are not your feelings, so stop mistaking them for your identity. Shift perspective, conquer your emotions, and carve the life you desire. When you stand in your greatness like a tiger, you have nothing to prove, for you just are. True power is not dictated or enforced. It is an energy that magnetizes others to want to help you in your cause. Anyway, it's um, it feels to me like at some point you stood your ground or you stood in your power and chose yourself and you're, you know, choosing to work on yourself, choosing to awaken is what I'm hearing. All right, so your side, we have the waker, awareness and reflection. I forgot this. <laughs> I pulled these cards very early this morning. Um, so yeah, right now your eye, your third eye is open or it's opening. You could be having like headaches right now, my friend. And you're looking at things through the eyes of awareness. You're looking at things, you know, you're in your power right now. And you're able to look at yourself and forgive yourself for your shadows. You're able to look at the way other people react to you and you're seeing through that veil you know you're seeing through an awakened eye and if you aren't you're about to be um it's a very reflective state here that you're in um very strong energy like i said i was seeing queen of swords you know this is my truth <laughs> Your person's energy, we have the pathless, difficult decisions, lack of direction. So this could be someone who is lacking direction right now, lacking, they could be experiencing, they could be in like mini emperor energy, they could be experiencing like lack of self-confidence, um, I'm seeing distorted masculine energy, unable to make decisions, unable to feel a solid foundation. And with this lack of direction, it feels like since there was a separation here, this person has struggled to find something that makes them feel the way this connection does is what I'm hearing. It feels almost like this person just with the hand being pulled down i just see somebody being pulled down into low vibrational energy you know into overthinking into stagnant energy and it could be that this person was in that lower vibrational energy and that was the imbalance you know maybe you were awakening and they were in really low vibrational energy distorted masculine energy and it could have made you know this temperance energy whoop. anyway it feels like this person i'm seeing this card destiny i'm struggling to find the right path and i feel like you are very focused on whatever you're working on here for the animal we have the tarantula for your side and we have the earthworm for their side. So I'm going to explain these. We have fire and earth. Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have emperor energy, which is um, Aries. The shaman makes me think of hierophant energy, Taurus. We have claim your power, seven, cancer energy, forward movement you are moving forward all right so animals at a crossroads claiming life's purpose so it feels like you're both at a crossroads this person is at a crossroads to wake up and you're at a crossroads where you're choosing yourself you're choosing your own path possibly you are you know looking to like I said, become a light worker or become a spiritual leader of some sort. Maybe you're really looking at the um, 
Maybe you're taking courses or studying things online or learning how it all works right now. The other thing that I was hearing with the shaman, 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 um, is it does talk about a student. So like I said, you could be learning about spirituality. Um, this person could be a student for some of you, especially with this, you know, difficult decisions, lack of direction. There could be some type of work or school thing happening in their life. Anyway, the tarantula follows intuition. So this is your energy right now. You're following your intuition even when your heart sometimes says or your emotions say otherwise, you know, um, you're really trusting in your intuition and spiders can represent divine feminine energy as well. And it says the tarantula represents a moment when a great decision must be made. It involves prioritizing your life's deeper purpose or dharma, a habit of routine, a habit or routine from the past is sidetrack sidetracking you from your dream yet a voice inside keeps begging you to refocus your attention in order to find true happiness you must choose dharma until you do satisfaction will be fleeting the tarantula hovers patient and calm like an old friend that knows your inner soul it already knows you'll choose wisely and I don't know. At the very beginning, I said maybe some of you were married when you met this person. Um, this also kind of, you could have been at a crossroads where you had to choose this connection over a past connection, or you were already in a marriage for some of you. And, you know, maybe it made no sense, but that's what your intuition was telling you. That's what your nine of cups was telling you, urging you to do. And... Now it could be that your intuition is telling you about this connection, that it's time to focus on your own self-growth and your life purpose, whatever that, I mean, I'm seeing counterpart energy here. So I feel like you are someone who's, you've hit a point where you have to make a decision. Do you trust in this spirituality business and focus on yourself and follow your intuition or do you get sucked back down into that lower vibrational energy of it's demonic and it's not real and you're crazy for thinking this and whatever else fills in the gap there. Um, spiders are also very hardworking. So you could be very dedicated to working on your spirituality right now, working on your own awareness about other people. Anyway, like I said, this is just current energy and I'm getting carried away with myself, <laughs> which isn't surprising. And we have earth energy with the earthworm. Shy, hesitant, reluctant. <laughs> so this could have been someone who was, you know, maybe closed off to commitment. You know, like I said, we have this commitment energy here. So this could have been someone who was afraid of commitment or didn't want to be committed to this. Um, this could be someone who is very hesitant to look at their own shadows. This could be someone who procrastinates, you know. Um, when out of balance, we have self-conscious, apprehensive. So this person could have been very apprehensive about this connection um, I am seeing that self-conscious energy. I feel like this person maybe had lower self-esteem or lack of self-worth. I'm seeing distorted masculine energy. This could be someone very closed off right now, very closed off right now. And what I'm seeing is they could maybe be going through some type of spiritual awakening. They may be having some, and if it's not a spiritual awakening, they could be having awareness about this connection and about that it goes a lot deeper than they thought. And they could be very unsure and confused, which is why they're holding back. This is the energy of someone who knows something, but they don't know enough. So they don't feel comfortable sharing it yet. It's like they're keeping that close within themselves. 
it's like a beginner mindset energy. So this person is just starting, I feel, to have realizations about this connection. Interesting. And it says to bring into balance, speak up. So it feels like this person has something they need to say. But anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> So now we have tarot. So I got one court card and one major arcana card to describe each of your energies. We have honesty, page of pentacles. And page of pentacles, you know, we see honesty. I feel like you are someone who's being very honest with yourself about logically how this maybe wasn't working or that this there did need to be a separation. Page of pentacles, it seems like you're putting effort into growth into something new perhaps um, perhaps you know you're learning like I said about spirituality or you're planting the seeds to be a light worker or a tarot reader or something page of pentacles is growth earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn we have air energy here with Gemini Libra Aquarius we have earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn Aries and we have judgment, liberation, you're freeing yourself, you know, awakening, spiritual awakening, and you're learning not to, I feel, let other people's opinions sway you. It's like you're, I almost feel like you're committing to your own spirituality and your own soul path, whether this person comes back or not. That's what I'm seeing. Um, you could be, you know, breaking karmic cycles here and getting good karma i'm hearing i'm gonna put you right there maybe maybe yeah all right so for your person's energy we have the knight of cups so the knight of cups there's that emotionally unavailable energy again so this could have been someone who made promises you know emotional promises that they couldn't deliver in the end. Um, maybe they couldn't emotionally open up to this. This is the energy of someone trusting in their intuition, the Knight of Cups. Um, it's very symbolic of someone letting their heart guide them. And it's also the energy of, you know, wanting to express their emotions. It's the energy of wanting to rekindle something. So this person seems to be reflecting on their emotions. You know, I feel, remember how the Six of Cups came out and it was bent? I feel like you're both, you know, moving forward and you're growing and taking root. And I feel like this person is possibly going through an emotional awakening where they're starting to tap into their emotions but with this pathless, I also see that they're kind of lost. It's like they don't really know what direction to take here. If this is someone who's awakening to it in a spiritual sense with the earthworm, they could be going through a dark night of the soul. Do you know how confusing it is when you go through a dark night of the soul or when you meet a soul connection? It is so confusing. And we have karma, temperance. So we have temperance coming out three times. And that's the balancing of divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Hang on. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's just, oh my gosh, is that a chihuahua? What is that? I gotta see, it's a puppy. Oh my gosh, it's a chihuahua. Oh, hang on. <laughs> It was either a Chihuahua or a Yorkie wearing a sweater. <laughs> and my dogs are very like whiny now. <laughs> so anyway, your person's energy, we have temperance and karma. So they could be learning some karmic lessons. You know, this person could have miss. They could have done something to you that caused them to accumulate bad karma. You know, this could be what it took to balance their energies because remember I said distorted masculine energy so it feels like whatever's happening is to bring them back into balance 
into more, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine energy where they're not making decisions or reacting from a lower vibrational energy. Um, so yeah, that's what we're seeing here, my friends. I have to keep it even. <laughs> it needs to be balanced. Temperance energy, it needs to be balanced. It's very symbolic to me that you're going through an awakening here and it's triggering something within your person. Um, so yeah, let's get into tarot. All right. So now that we've been through all that, I think it's very interesting. Whoops. <laughs> Remember, we have this. Oh, that's a different bent card. Interesting. Um, so we had that six of swords. We have temperance here, which came out in this reading. We have the king of cups. So possibly someone trying to embody this king of cups, moving from this knight of cups to the king of cups. We have the empress, you embodying divine feminine energy. You know? All right, my friends, let's go. So we're going to look at, this is going to be what the future of this connection is. So we're going to look at current energy right now between the two of you. We have the Wheel of Fortune every and Hanged Man. Yes, separation in order for growth. This had to happen in order for growth. Um, you know, one thing that people don't understand about the energy I channel is I'm not channeling lower vibrational connections. I'm channel channeling like very spiritual connections. So if you're resonating with my messages, you should be like highly spiritual and be learning about spirituality and growing. Um, anyway, Wheel of Fortune, everything is happening in divine timing. Ch shifts are happening, you know, adjustments are being made. And <clears throat> I feel like you're kind of on your own journeys right now. And we have the hanged man, so it's meant to give you a different perspective. You know, it's meant to make you both see this from a different angle. It's meant to help you reclaim your power and help this person pick themselves up and dust themselves off and keep going and healing, I'm hearing. It could be that, you know, you're meant to break patterns together with this Wheel of Fortune energy. And we have the Two of Swords, so it's stagnation, you know? Um, it's like spirit cuts you two off is what I'm hearing. Anyway, Wheel of Fortune energy, current energy. We're going to look at your energy. Show me your energy. Show me this divine feminine power. <laughs> we have the Nine of Cups. Ugh. Reclaiming your power, going after what you want. We talked about it, about, you know, you could be someone who is choosing to follow your intuition here, you know, like this spider. We have the eight of swords. So to me, it feels like you are no longer overthinking this. You're trusting in your intuition. You're trusting on your soul path in your own journey. And you could be trying to find other things that give you that wish fulfillment type of feeling. Um, because you can't put all your cups into one basket. You need to have other things that fulfill you. You know, I'm seeing soul growth with the nine. You evolving. Um, really tapping into your intuition. That's the most important thing. And it feels like you're letting go of that ego. That fear, the overthinking. I'm hearing what will be, will be. That's what I'm hearing. Whatever will be, will be. That song, Que Sera, Sera. And it's like you're really trusting in your inner intuition and choosing the spiritual path is what I'm hearing. Nine of Cups. So you could be feeling, you know, more positive these days. Eight of Swords. I feel like you, you know, you are someone who's awakened. Let's just say that. You could have went through a dark night of the soul. Let's see your person's energy. Show me that person's energy. We have the Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. 
So this is someone who's feeling very left out of your energy. They're diff like lack of direction. They're struggling to find their path. You know, they're feeling like something is missing in their life. Five of Pentacles is a lower vibrational energy of fear of rejection, you know, low self-esteem, which is what we were seeing here. And they're thinking about this connection between the two of you. They're feeling the lack of your energy in their life right now. They could be going through karmic lessons, you know, tower moments. I, I feel the need to stick your person over here. What I might do, just to keep it straight, I'll do this and then I'll do that. There we go. I'm going to get one more card for you. High Priestess on the bottom. Their intuition. What did I say about that page of cups? No, Knight of Cups. Following their intuition. You know, their intuition is trying to help them wake up. High Priestess. They're holding back from you right now. To me, it feels like they're... They're starting to have realizations here, inner wisdom. They're tapping into their inner wisdom, earthworm energy, but it could be very new to them. Let's see one more for your energy. Your energy. We have justice and eight of swords in reverse again. <laughs> You are freeing yourself from this. Remember the first card, devil in reverse. So you are freeing yourself from an outcome and you're liberating yourself, I'm hearing. You could be experiencing good karma right now. Um, do I think you're winning the lottery? No, but you could be experiencing like people giving you gifts or someone saying, hey, I have this thing I don't need anymore. Or you could be experiencing just very lucky circumstances you know well you think they're lucky it's your karma it's your good karma coming in um very interesting 9 11 could be symbolic um i'm also seeing 2 7 here so it feels like there's something happening within your person that's supposed to get them moving out of that stagnant energy um, and what's going on between you is divine timing right here. Justice is also, you know, you taking accountability for your own crap, your own patterns, your own shadows, awareness, you know, judgment, justice, beautiful. <laughs> and again, eight of swords in reverse again. So you're freeing yourself from overthinking. You're freeing yourself from possibly trauma oh my gosh trauma you're healing trauma trauma that can be healed eight of swords all right you're freeing yourself is what i hear look at the imagery of jail here you're freeing yourself whether that's from fearing and believing in this or freeing yourself from being like you could just be empowering yourself against this lower vibrational energy that your person's in um Anyway, uh, let's see how they're feeling about you right now. How are they feeling about you? We have two of wands. It feels like they need to change something here. The high priestess is on the bottom again. So they're feeling, it's like their intuition is trying to get them to wake up. Um, two of wands, this is someone right now who feels they could be at a distance from you, you know? Or that there's things that need to change before the two of you can be together, such as circumstance. Um, maybe you do live apart. It could be with the two of wands, you know, this is someone I think that knows they need to change something before they come towards you. Two of wands, changing a pattern, changing their approach. You know, this is someone who's lacking direction. They're looking around like, I don't know which way to go. And their intuition is telling them it's you. Maybe they've tried to move on. Maybe they don't know what's going on with you, High Priestess. I want to get one more for how they're feeling about you, actually. How are they feeling about you, King of Wands and Temperance? So there is this energy where... You know, they feel like it's their move, I'm hearing. It's them that needs to make a move here. 
But they're being patient about this. Temperance, you know, again, temperance coming out again for the fourth time. Uh, this person, I feel, sees you as their other half. There's something very healing about you. And remember I said about that starfish energy, this person could have felt like it was your job to heal them or your job to fix them. Healing elixir, temperance. It's like you had what they needed in order to feel balanced. Does that make sense? And really what we need is to find that balance within ourselves. So that's what happens with counterparts is they start thinking they need each other to feel that way. And what happens is they need to learn how to feel that way on their own, if that makes sense. Let's see how you're feeling about this person. This person has um, sexual attraction to you. Eight of Cups and King of Swords. So it's how you're feeling about them. I feel like you had to walk away from them or they walked away from you. And I, I do feel like if this person could be honest with you and take accountability, that you would, you know, walk back over that bridge. It's in reverse here. We have the Four of Swords. So right now you're feeling de detached. You're gaining clarity. You're seeing from a new perspective. You're healing right now. Um, this could have been someone who had problems taking accountability, the King of Swords. Like this could have been someone who was very resistant to acknowledge their flaws is what I'm hearing. They could have been quite cold. Um, and maybe that's why you walked away, you know. But with the Eight of Cups in reverse, I also feel like if this person came in with clarity, you would hear them out because it seems like you're choosing yourself in this this path wherever it takes you whether it brings this person back or not let's get another one for your feelings about them right now we have the wild card interesting because that came out during the shuffle and i said i'm not going to touch that one i really do feel like let me grab the book for this one. Oh, that's i wish i don't think books came with the two the other two that I got from, hang on. So this one is the highly sensitive tarot and the wild card. Shout out to my friend who gave this deck to me. I love you. Um, the wild card. So right now with the wild card, one thing I'm hearing is, you know, this is how you're feeling about this person. But one thing I wanted to say is I see you as someone when I had a beagle. And when you think about a beagle, they follow their nose. They follow their, you know, their nose to them is their intuition, I think. And right now I feel that your intuition tells you there's something important about this connection. But right now I feel like you're almost like this beagle. You're very focused on your own growth. Um, so it's like, it, I really am feeling the energy if you're open to whatever will be here. Um, you're just focused on your own healing path right now. So 22, how you feel about them, self-empowerment. So maybe you feel like they need to empower themselves more, um, that you can't do it for them. You could feel like this person through this connection, through the lessons, they helped empower you. They helped you claim your power, find your power, find your worth. And it says this reveals this card reveals a unique message that comes with the ability to consciously take charge of your own life and shape your purpose. And that's what I mean. It feels like you're choosing this. So even though you're not talking to this person, I feel like you're not the type of person in my comment section who's like, ah, oh, my person will never change. I hate them. I hope they whatever. Some of the comments that I have to get rid of, oh my gosh, it's like, I don't even want to see that type of, ugh. Anyway, um, I feel like you're choosing this, even though possibly it hasn't chosen you. I feel like you're just really, really dedicated to choosing your soul path and you, this person is on it. Um, anyway, the other thing has to do with picking another card, which I'm not going to do right now, but all right. 
So nine of pentacles, there's that self-empowerment that the wild card talks about. You know, you feel like you've found your power through this connection. You could be feeling very, like you're experiencing a lot of abundance right now. And I feel like you know that it's because of the lessons this person taught you, whether they come back to you or not. The Ten of Cups, interesting. So very much, I feel like they are your emotional fulfillment. All right, what is coming in the, what's coming next for this connection? What is the future of this connection? What is coming next for this connection? We have the Hanged Man. Going to get another one because right now you're in Hanged Man. We have the Emperor. There we go. So what's coming next? You have someone coming towards you with a new perspective. You have the Emperor here. Um, it shows... You know, it could be that in the near future, there's still a separation because it takes time to grow into this emperor, you know? I feel like through separation, the two of you are continuing to ground yourselves. You're continuing to build your own foundations, balance those masculine and feminine energies. Um, interesting. And then we see action being taken. Um, I'm going to put the emperor on your person's side because, you know, we've seen the empress, we've seen the emperor now. And I do feel like I'm dealing with counterparts here. For what's coming, we do have inspired action being taken and communication and the fool. So there's a new beginning here, my friends. You know, I feel like you've chosen this, you're working on yourself, and we do see communication. Somebody reaches out here. Someone feels inspired to reach out and we see back and forth communication and the fool a new beginning. We have king and queen of wands here. Very interesting. The two of you coming back together, you receiving a message from them. Look at that. Let's see what action this person will take. If any, what action is this person going to take? is this person going to take we have the knight of pentacles here and the four of wands so there you go this person is slowly healing they're you know i see multiple attempts here so it could be that you and this person have had multiple attempts but as for this person's actions they're coming in slow like i said hanged man energy while well, you both work on your own foundations and the the structure becomes solid again, or your this person rises up into that divine masculine energy where they know their worth, you know? Like I said, I think this is someone being pulled down by lower vibrational energy. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is determined for this. They're running a marathon, it's not a sprint. So that's they're coming in slowly dedicated. And we have the Four of Wands here, which is them, you know, this could be commitment for some of you. We have forward movement. So right now your person is in Two of Wands energy. This is the future. This is the action they take. They come towards you. They make that decision. They make that change. They change their approach and they come towards you, Four of Wands, wanting union here. What advice do you need about this connection? We have the Empress, oh my gosh, and Strength, oh my, ah, <laughs> you guys, you've got this, okay? This is not for those of you who are like, you don't know if you want your person. I'm seeing this as a divine feminine who has chosen this journey. And my advice to you is to remain calm and patient and trust in your intuition, trust in this inner knowing that you have. Um, that is amazing, my friends. You know, this is what's coming. Emperor energy. Your advice is to remain in this Empress energy. Keep focusing on yourself. Keep nurturing yourself, listening to your intuition. We have strength. So this was a connection. This is a connection that's meant to teach you a lot about yourself. It's unbreakable. And I, I'm someone who believes if you do the work, they will catch up. And that's what I mean when I say I'm, I channel like very spiritual connections where people are doing childhood wounding, like reflection and healing their shadows. This is not, 
This is not just any old connection that I'm looking at here. This is a counterpart connection. Um, and it's, it can't be recreated with the strength card. You know, think of Beauty and the Beast, okay? You could resonate with Beauty and the Beast. An unbreakable bond between the two of you. Look at that. A bond that you trigger this person's ego just like they trigger yours. And it helps you evolve into better people. Five of Wands on the bottom, Five of Swords shows resolution. It shows change. They're in reverse. This shows resolution between this conflict. And this shows, you know, forgiveness. It shows healing after arguments. So healing some of these wounds here. All right. And let's just get future of this connection, please, Spirit. Show us. <laughs> That's right now. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Swords flipped up. <laughs> I'm like, that's right now, spirit. <laughs> so we have the Ace of Wands, Passionate New Beginning, Eight of Pentacles, Renewal. Eight of Pentacles is when two people come back to each other and they say, you know what? I know there's struggles. I know there's differences, but I love you and I want this. And you both choose to invest in it. And beautiful 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 and we have the chariot forward movement divine feminine divine masculine energies aligning and forward movement beautiful three of cups celebration beautiful so so there <laughs> i don't know why i said it like that <laughs> so my friends that was your reading i hope it resonated enjoy the eclipse i think i'll be able to get pile two done before the eclipse and then pile three after um, but yeah, I'm sending you guys lots of love and light, and I will talk to you soon, my little butterflies. <laughs> Bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. If you chose Pile 2 and this Black Obsidian, this is going to be a reading about the future of this connection. Um, for this connection, this is going to be an interesting one because I can't, I don't know if you're together or not. Um, if I'm being honest, I'm seeing, why am I stroking the crystal? <laughs> uh, that was weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, for some of you, you may be reconnecting. That was really strange. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you caught that. I feel like a little embarrassed, um, but I just found myself stroking <laughs> this crystal um, so for some of you, I am seeing that maybe you're reconnecting. I'm actually blushing right now. So like maybe some of you are reconnecting <laughs> in a sexual way <laughs> or not. Um, but that was interesting. Um, just that was so weird. Uh, it's really interesting how intuitively we do things. Um, like when you're tapped into your higher self, you just intuitively do things like that um, before you realize what's happening anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, but the way that I was, it could be that someone is about to um, put passion back into this. I don't know. That was weird. I was just seeing like the way that I was rubbing that. I just saw the Ace of Wands. So um, anyway... So let's get into it, pile two. If you could see me, I'm all red. <laughs> uh, we have the seven of wands and we see this person, you know, shooting what looks to be an arrow. And the seven of wands has a lot of different meanings. And what I'm seeing with this connection is that I feel like I'm looking at two people who are going to choose to fight for this connection. I feel like I'm looking at... A pile where possibly there's a new beginning happening. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like there's a reconnection happening. Or maybe this is just a very new connection where you're both determined to have this new beginning. You know, it could be a new connection. I'm not going to lie. I channel a lot of like deep spiritual connections. And that's what these lower vibrational people do not understand. <laughs> I just don't think I'm the reader for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm here to reach the people I'm meant to reach. Um, anyway, seven of wands. It feels like I'm looking at two people who want a new beginning, who want this, who want this, 
who are taking a leap of faith towards each other, possibly after holding back from each other, you know. So for some of you, it is a reconnection. Um, take it as it resonates. I'm seeing a reconnection or new, you know, take it as it resonates. So we're going to shuffle first and then we'll get into your oracle cards. We have the eight of wands. See, this is what I mean. I feel like there is forward movement here. So you're either, you know, maybe communication comes in after the eclipse. Um, I just feel like there's reconnection here or this is something that's just taken off, you know, whether that's new or not, eight of wands. So perhaps there's travel, perhaps there's plans to see each other. Eight of wands is forward movement. It's rapid growth, rapid change, communication. We saw the fool. So a new beginning, back and forth communication. What are you? We have the Queen of Pentacles, which I'm pretty sure came out in your Oracle cards. So it feels like something is stabilizing here. Perhaps you're choosing to invest in this connection. You know, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing two people choosing to invest in a connection, even though it may not be the easiest of connections, you know? Nine of Pentacles. So it feels like there's some type of stability wanting to come back in here. Um, it could have been that the two of you needed to grow on your own before you came back together. It could be that this is a new connection where you've grown and evolved into a more stable person and you're in a new connection and you're both, you know, it's like this person is on your frequency. You're both choosing to, you're choosing this is what I'm saying. This is interesting. Queen of Pentacles again. All right, let's not be pushy. <laughs> You know what, Queen of Pentacles? You go in there. <laughs> we have justice. This is what I mean. Compromise. Making adjustments. Working it out. Yes. I haven't had a pile like this in a while. <laughs> uh, I'm a poet. <clears throat> Not really. I've, I've always dreamed of writing a book. Three of Pentacles working it out. All right. I get it. So this is definitely someone you're working things out with. Six of Swords, reconnection, moving into calmer waters. Oh my gosh. Okay, I get it. I get it, spirit. It's very clear, reconnection pile or new, you know, after moving on from someone in your past who you've let go. Magician, things are starting to manifest. Things are starting to take root. Um, like I said, you're either both choosing this or this is something new after you healing and releasing something that wasn't meant for you. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Magician energy. And we have the Ace of Cups. So a renewal or a new love, which is just what I was saying in the Eight of Wands. <laughs> Aw, you could have red hair. It's funny because I'm pretty sure one of your Oracle cards made me want to say, you could have red hair. <laughs> so you could, you could have red hair. We see a renewal here. Oh, oh, beautiful. Okay, let's set these aside and get into your oracle cards. There is a bunch. I don't know if you guys can hear the crows. It's 111 here, by the way. And the birds are definitely loud today, I think, because of the eclipse. So let me just check. Yes, the red-headed pile. <laughs> so this is supposed to be you. It doesn't have to be. You could mirror, like you could resonate with the other side. This is your person, and then this is connecting energy. So we're going to look at the connecting energy first. This should be describing like right now or near future or recent past, um, like very recent past. Maybe not. Um, you'll know if you resonate. I'll just say that. So we have the gem. And this is very symbolic about two people choosing a connection, you know, it's like you both know it's special. You know there's something very special or rare here. Um, let me just grab my book. I had it. Here it is. I just want to look up that gem card really quick. The diamond, the gold, the inner treasure. So I feel like you and this person have found something very special within each other. And like I said, this is either new or renewal. Um,
it feels like it's something that stands out, you know, it feels like a different type of connection. There's something very special about it, possibly rare, something irreplaceable. So there's this soul connection that kind of feels irreplaceable with each other. Perhaps the two of you have tried to replace each other or move on, Six of Swords, but you came back together here. Um, I just, I see two people that know there's something special growing in this nest, you know, there's something worth investing in here. And this is a connection where it feels destined and it says keep digging. So that's what I mean. It feels like for some of you, you may resonate with coming back together and having a reconnection with this person. We have commitment for and that right there shows two swans coming together, two swans coming into alignment, uh, two people wanting to commit to each other, choosing each other. You know, I'm hearing that Simpsons, I choo choo choose you. There's also a song, I think it's by Carly Simon. I think it's from a movie called Marvin's Room. And it's about sisters dancing by the sea. I'm not saying that you and your person are sisters because... Ew. <laughs> but there's a line in it that always that talks about coming home to each other and it says I'll come home to you you'll come home to me our love will be our remedy I'll choose you and you'll choose me um, like I said it's about two sisters but just those lines um I'll choose you and you ch you'll choose me and it feels like you and this person have chosen each other. And it could be that this is new. For some of you, you may resonate with new. And it's because your souls made a commitment to choose each other in this lifetime. Um, and it does feel like there's something very unique here. Current energy, I do feel like I'm looking at people who are talking, working on things. Um, I could be wrong, but... So for your persons, what did I want to do first? I'm going to do this one first. We have quantum jump 36. So it feels like this person, like I said, is choosing this. And look, we have the yin and yang energies. We have the grasshopper, a leap of faith. And it feels like this person is taking a leap of faith towards this, um, choosing to nurture it, empress energy, six lovers energy embracing this connection it feels like their their eye is open here to this connection and they're choosing it they're taking a leap of faith towards it like i said whether it's new or reconnecting i'm going to stop mentioning that now it's going to be up to you to decipher that we have prayer answered so this shows me this this happened after a period of self-growth um, and that's why it's nine of pentacles energy, you know, hanged man energy. So it feels like you've been waiting for stability. You've been waiting for something here. You've been waiting for someone to take a leap of faith towards you, perhaps. And it feels like the universe is gifting you this. Um, for some of you, like I said, this could be that you've been praying for someone new. And all of a sudden, timelines shift and this person is in your life um, quantum leap for some of you this is reconnection with someone who you feel that soul connection with that you've had a separation with and the two of you you know you could have asked this person for a reconnection or maybe you ask the spirit the spirit maybe you ask the universe to send this person back to you if it was meant to be and we see these two halves coming together your prayer being answered. This is supposed to be current energy. So you could be someone who feels this is coming, you know, and this is just your confirmation. Maybe your higher self brought you here to see what's, what comes next for you. Um, 36 is also, you know, the energy, it equals nine, which is the energy of self. So I feel like this is someone who's grown. Um Nine of Pentacles I'm seeing. For your side, we have the fox. 
And that's why I said it was interesting that we had that redhead card here because you could be a redhead with the fox energy. It's earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And it's stability. It's This is a very family-orientated orient, energy, um, the fox. And this is your current energy right now, or it should be. I just heard you could be feeling foxy. <laughs> Maybe that's why I was rubbing that once. <laughs> Smart, strong partner or mate, wise teacher. This is your current energy. Magical, monogamous, <laughs> In shadow, unsure of their identity. So maybe before this connection, you weren't sure who you were. And you had to learn who you were before you could choose this connection or before spirit could deliver it to you. Um, they are quick to learn and adapt to new situations. Foxes are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term. And it feels like you're committing to this, whatever this is, whether it's new or I'm going to stop saying that. Um, to bring into balance partnership and connection. So monogamous, special, rare, unique, you know, you're both choosing this. It's beautiful. Your person's energy. I forgot about this. We have the butterfly. It's transformation, you know, timeline jump. I'm telling you, this person is transforming. If you're reconnecting, you're seeing a different side to this person. You know, maybe this is someone in the past who shied away from commitment. There's a red truck going by. Maybe this person is someone who shied away from commitment and you're seeing a huge transformation in them right now. If you haven't, you're about to because this is transform transformation, baby. And it's air energy, air, no, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, so this person could be coming towards you, you know. Um, very beautiful energy. You're seeing a change. You're seeing this person. I feel like if you know this person, you're de seeing a different side of them. They're under, it says undergoing great change. And this is, it says, a period of transition that usually involves relationships. And it says, be extra patient and kind. <laughs> be extra patient and kind with this person. So it feels like you're going through a transition with this person right now. Where perhaps, you know, you're still going to see some of the old things in them. Or maybe they're going to need your patience. Um, but like I said, it feels like you're both choosing this connection. It also feels like this person is relying on you for stability in some sense, or they're looking to you to kind of lead the way or to like, they're very focused on you. And maybe in the past they weren't. If this is someone new, it could be that, you know, this is someone very different from anybody you've ever been with and kind of you're transitioning into a very different type of relationship than you've ever experienced before. You know, something really precious. My precious. <laughs> we have the twins, self-protection, dual natures. And for some of you, you could resonate as twin flames or counterparts. Um, it does feel like there might have been mirroring in this connection, you know, if this is a reconnection and that the two of you have come back together. For some of you, you and this person could be, if it's new, they could be shocked by how many similarities you have. Um, if you don't resonate with counterparts, it feels like, you know, it feels like you're both very similar in a lot of ways. Um, interesting. It could also be that this person is, even though you're reconnecting or you're getting to know them, this person could be still transitioning out of healing or their growth, their healing growth. And it could be that, you know, they are holding back a bit. They're protecting their energy a bit. Um, remember, this card said to have patience. So this could be someone who's being slow to open up or slow to respond. Anyway, let's look at your side. 
we have the shepherd celebration and family. It's like, it reminds me of four of wands. You know, it reminds me of, it, there's a lot of stable energy. If you look at this buffalo stability, um, we see this as being someone very grounded, monogamous, um, stable partner, it said. And this says celebration and family. So it feels like you're happy to have this person in your life. Uh, current energy, you could be introducing this person to your family or to your children or just feeling a sense of family within this connection, um, whether it's old or new. Celebration and family, I think of the Ten of Cups, I think of the Four of Wands. So remember, those are supposed to be current energies. We have the High Priestess, the Unknowable. So right now it feels like possibly you intuitively felt like this was coming. And now it all makes sense, you know. Um, I feel like you manifested whatever this is, um, whether it's reconnection or new. It also, I feel like you are able to see through the veil of this person a little. So if they do need your patience, you have that for them. Um, this could be someone who still, you know, operates from a lower vibrational energy or needs... I just think you have an inner knowing about how this person approaches you. Um, perhaps you have, even though this person is holding back, protecting themselves a bit, you have a knowing of what's actually happening with them or how they're feeling towards you. To me, it feels like you're trusting your gut on this one and you're going for it. You're investing in that diamond. And we have 13, Queen of Pentacles energy. So it really, truly feels like you're choosing to invest in this, whatever this is. You're choosing to invest in it. You're choosing to nurture it. You're choosing to be patient with it. Um, like I said, this could be someone who you're introducing your kids to or your family to. It's very beautiful. I haven't had a pile like this in a while. I feel, <laughs> I said it again. I do feel a lot of reconnection energy. So some of the people in my comment section who have recently heard from their person, um, you could be, you know, starting off as friends again is what I'm hearing. Let's look at your person's energy. We have change, Wheel of Fortune energy. So they're offering you change here. There's something different about them. They've changed their pattern. Like I said, if you're not resonating with past energy, this is someone completely different than what you're used to. It's a huge change for you. They're offering you, you know, the things that you always wanted and envisioned in a partner I'm hearing. There is something about transition. Um, for those of you where this is a past person, you know, I feel this is very symbolic of this person ending past patterns, but still needing your patience because they're still learning how to fly. You know, they're still going to make the same mistakes. And we have intention, which is Knight of Wands. So this person, to me, you know, I give the Knight of Wands a lot of hard times. You know, I've labeled them the runner just like everybody else. But this is someone who has good intentions here. We see this Knight of Wands. You know, this is someone who is like you're choosing this. They're choosing it too. They're coming in with fearlessness here. You know, even though it scares them, commitment could scare them. You know, we see you both choosing this connection and it's beautiful. Um so yeah, I do feel like you and this person are connecting. And if you're not connecting in the 3D, you must be connecting in the 5D. And you know this is coming. You must know this is coming because this is very clear energy. Um, the other thing I was going to say, if, if, bleh, if this is someone new, um, we have Earth energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If this is someone new, this could be someone younger who is very um, charismatic and maybe you're not used to that type of energy, but it feels like this person has good intentions. So, you know, if this is new and they seem kind of like they're giving you a bit of inconsistency, I feel like it's because they've learned how to protect themselves and they're still healing is what I'm hearing. Um, they're still working on implementing those changes. All right, so that's what I'm seeing, my friends. So if that 
feels like your message. We're going to get into the tarot now, which we've already shuffled. And we have the magician. So this is manifesting. You know, this is growing into something. There's communication here. You know, the magician is communication. The ace of cups is a new love or a renewal, an offer of love. And we have somebody sitting on a plane here. So forward movement, communication, rapid change, rapid growth. That's what we're looking at right here. So let's look at the current energy between the two of you right now. Current energy between the two of you. We have the five of wands in reverse, trying to work things out. <laughs> five of wands in reverse. You're trying to find resolution. You know, if this is new, you're trying to current energy, those blockages are gone. There's forward movement here. It's beautiful. And we have the eight of pentacles, which is exactly what I said. Ugh, you both choosing this. You're both choosing to invest in this, whether it's new or returning. The two of you are choosing to work this out, whatever it is. I see returning, but I don't want to leave out my new loves either. Um, I see a renewal between two people. I see your prayers being answered and it's finally happening. You know, it's happening. <laughs> you know, some people, when they reconnect, they're terrified to mess it up. Like they're terrified to, you know, this is everything they've been manifesting. And if they make a wrong move, it's all going to come tumbling down. Um, trust in it, you know, be patient, follow your intuition. Anyway. And look, lovers making a choice to invest in this. It's right here. Blah. Two lover. Boop, I just spit on the lovers. It's raining. Good thing they have an umbrella. <laughs> that is funny. Um, that's two people choosing this connection, you know, choosing to invest in it. It's beautiful. You know, for some of you, like I said, this could be a new soulmate where you made a contract and you've been praying for this new person to come in and you've been manifesting possibly someone different than you've ever had before. And here they are. It's beautiful. Oh, eight of pentacles is on the bottom. Okay, let's look at your energy right now. We have the six of swords and the three of pentacles. You're trying to work things out. Yes, reconnection, <laughs> working things out. Three of pentacles. You're trying to work this out. You're following your intuition. Page of Cups, you're taking it slow. Seeing where this goes. Let's look at your person's energy. Eh, didn't want to come out. Oh. Emperor. <laughs> this... <laughs> This is definitely someone you asked and your answers were, you asked, you prayed, your, they answered. Um, their current energy, they are feeling very stable. Nine of pentacles, like I said. Emperor energy, this is someone who's taking action here, who's trying to make this work, who's choosing this. We have the chariot, so they're focused on this. This is someone who wants to make more effort, you know? Um, for some of you... If this is new, this person is feeling very stable and confident about where this is going. Okay? This person wants this. And you want it. I was stroking that crystal for a reason. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is amazing. That's amazing. Let's see how you are currently feeling about them. How are you current? That's too many, spirit. We have temperance, which is the only one I see out of all the ones that fell. And that's reconciliation. That's two people coming together. You know, we see balance there. We see middle ground is what I'm hearing. You've both, you're trying to find the middle ground here. You're trying to make this work. Blah, beautiful. I'm going to peek at these. I don't think they were meant to come out, but I'm going to peek at them. On the bottom, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're feeling very stable, perhaps ready for this, ready for this reconnection. Oh my gosh, you guys. For how you feel about this person, you finally have clarity. Um, I'm not going to take them, but you finally have clarity. Ace of Swords, Six of Cups. You finally have clarity about this connection, you know? Um, 
this is reconciliation, trying to work things out. And for some of you, if this is new, you're feeling a soulmate energy with this person. You're feeling it. Soulmate energy. You feel like there's something different here. Amazing. Let's see how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about you? We have the Wheel of Fortune, you guys. Wheel of Fortune is right there. It's it. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups on the bottom. New love, returning love. It's here. This person cares about you. For how they feel about you, they're making adjustments. You know, they want this to work. They feel like this is destined, whoever this person is. And they're putting in effort here. They're wanting a renewal here. They feel this love for you. And look, magician, they want to make things happen. Ten of pentacles. Long, they want to invest in this long term. This is amazing. Um, I want to get another one for how you're feeling about this reconnection. How are you feeling about this? We have the seven of swords. So there's a lack of trust here. Okay. I felt like there was something that was hiding on your side because we do have the high priestess and I felt maybe there's something here that I'm not seeing. We have the seven of swords here. So there's fear. Um, you do have fear here. And I feel like you have fear of investing in this fear of being hurt again. Seven of pentacles shows that for some of you, you've invested in this before and maybe were let down or you invested in a past connection that you thought was special and were let down. And there is fear here. Um, it's funny because I said, how are you feeling about this reconnection? And this is fear. This is fear of getting hurt, fear of being manipulated, you know, fear of the unknown. Let's see how they're feeling about the reconnection. How are you? How is this person feeling about the reconnection? We have eight of wands in reverse and nine of cups. So this is someone who's trying not to move too quickly. You know, this is this is um, in the upright. It's rapid change, rapid growth, fast movement. In the reverse, it represents a delay in that energy. So this person is not trying to rush things. They're taking it slow because they know you're their nine of cups. They feel it. Um, for a lot of you, like I said, this is a reconnection. And this person is trying not to rush things because they want to do it right this time. They're still trying to learn how to fly as this butterfly. They're still making changes, you know? They're still going through a transition where I think you are farther along. And while they're here wanting to commit, wanting and whether that means actual commitment or committing to getting to know each other again, um, this person doesn't want to rush it because they know how special you are. And that could be causing fear in you. Why isn't this person messaging me enough, you know? But yeah, we have nine of cups here. So this person is feeling very happy to be connected to you again. And for some of you, if it's new, just it's the same thing. You're afraid of being hurt. They're afraid of rushing this. Um, all right. Let's see what is coming next for this connection. What is coming next for this connection? We have strength. So it feels like the bond between you is strengthening. We do have death and rebirth here transform transformational energy for a lot and a new beginning for a lot of you I feel like if you are reconnecting that I don't think that the rebirth you know will happen I feel like this is right now this connection is strengthening before it hits the rebirth because death and rebirth is here and I'm seeing a fresh start in the future, but where we have um, your person is in very transformational energy. So it could be that this person isn't ready to commit in the traditional sense. Um, but a rebirth is here in the future energy. 
And like I said, we have Ace of Cups, so a renewal in the near future, or sorry, future energy. Um, what was I going to ask? I'm going to get another one for what's coming in this connection. We have the sun, happiness, rewards for your investment, you seeing your investments. So that fear is only causing resistance, my friends. Yes, we should be, we should have boundaries to protect ourselves from being hurt again, but we don't need to live in fear. Put up a boundary, you know? If you're afraid of this person doing something, maybe, you know, talk about it, put up a boundary. Anyway, we have happiness here, the sun, healing energy, you seeing the rewards of your investments here. Beautiful. Let's see what advice you need about this connection. We have the three of cups. So right now we're seeing reconnection and your advice is to start at Start at that two of cups, evolve into the three of cups. Like what I mean by that is don't rush it, let it flow. Don't overgive, don't overthink, um, invest, you know, at least the three of cups. If this person is wanting friendship with you right now, it's because they want to build a foundation that leads to something more, you know, and it could be that you start off as friends, you start off with this kind of flowing energy. The other thing I'm hearing is don't lose yourself in this connection. Continue to have your own life. Continue to go out with your friends. Continue to have other things in your life, you know? Um, the star shows that there's healing taking place here, that there's hope for this connection here. So you don't, you know, you don't have to be afraid. It's normal to be afraid. But that causes resistance and... You know, this star card as advice is don't give up hope in this situation, even if it seems like you're just connecting socially right now. You know, this is the start of a rebirth is what I'm seeing. Knight of Pentacles, take it slow. Knight of Pentacles, take it slow. Yes, <coughs> it's the slowest moving night in the deck. This pile seems very straightforward to me. <laughs> um, and, you know, another thing here. If you have been holding on to a past wound, Spirit's saying to let that go. To enter flow here and let go of that past wound. Let go of that past person. You know, if this is new. All right, let's see the future of this connection. What is the future of this connection? The, ten, the two of swords, ten of swords, two of swords. Ten of swords in reverse is on my floor. I wish I could take a picture of it for you. Ten of swords in reverse is recon... Pick up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay so ten of swords in reverse is you know you if this is new you're releasing that past person ten of swords in reverse you're releasing the wounds of the past um for a lot of you this is reconnection this is getting back together after an ending which is what i've been feeling this whole reading has been about is reconnection you're reconnecting with your person and it ends with the two of you getting back together, even if it doesn't feel like it right now. We have four freaking wands on the bottom, my friends. Like, look at this. You you and this person, happily ever after beginning. <laughs> we have four of wands for future, the future of you two. That's marriage, you know? That's living together. That's celebration. We have the Knight of Cups that represents rekindling of a romance. And we have Two of Cups, the two of you walking off into the distance together. Fuck your fears, <laughs> is what I just heard. <laughs> Anything else, Spirit? Anything else this person needs to know about this connection? We have the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. So there is success here in the future. Believe in it. Six of Wands and Four of Wands are both marriage cards. They're both, you know, this is this is showing me you're going to be seen in, like, you're going to be seen with this person. Um, you're going to be acknowledged as a couple, you know? 
Six of Wands is success. It's happiness. It's triumph. It's right next to the Four of Wands, you guys. Right next to the Four of Wands. The crows confirm it. <laughs> the crows have spoken. <laughs> so yeah, this feels much shorter than Pile 1, although I can't be sure. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end it here, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope it resonated. I'm sending you lots of love and light with this new love slash reconnection, and I'm wishing you all the best. Um, my advice for those of you who are reconnecting, you know, take it slow. You don't have to give up on tarot right away. Sometimes there's helpful messages in tarot for reconnections as well. Um, I'm someone that whenever I reconnected with my person, I would just stop watching tarot. And then I'd pick it back up again when we disconnected. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Enjoy the eclipse. Take care of yourselves. Step into the flow, my friends. <laughs> I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose Pile 3 and this Aura Quartz, this is going to be your reading all about the future of this connection. So I thought I would be doing this after the eclipse, but you are... Oh, the way the light is hitting that is beautiful. I know you guys can't see it, but the sunlight is shining right through it. Um, I'm doing this right before the eclipse, so very interesting. I was just going to let divine timing take care of what happened with my readings today, and divine timing says you get your reading before the eclipse. So very beautiful. The energy is very um, potent today. Um, hopefully you're tapping in with your spirit guides today and your intuition. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into it, my friends. Um, I pulled your oracle cards this morning. And I don't remember your oracle cards, actually. I feel like I feel like you may be in separation with your person or you may not be. I don't know. I feel for a lot of you, you're focused on yourself right now. Um, what's really interesting is I feel like this is a connection where something is about to happen, um, possibly after the eclipse, you know. We have the Ace of Cups here. And underneath we have the Page of Cups and it feels like there may be an apology or some type of um, connection happening between the two of you soon. I'm not sure if that's happening now. I feel like maybe right now you're focused on your own cup and your own self-love. We have the Magician. Something is brewing. That's what I was feeling. Something is brewing here. And I'm not sure if you know, I feel like almost I'm hearing the term on the edge of my seat, like something's about to happen. We have the world. So you could be at a distance with this person. There could be a physical distance, um, possibly a cycle about to come to a close, you know, maybe you don't have closure with this person. We have the King of Swords. What did I say? I said I felt like, I, like seriously, on the edge of my seat, like something's about to happen. King of Swords. So it feels like someone is about to bring you clarity. Someone is about to reach out to you. This is the future of this connection. So the tarot cards will be representing, like I'll be asking questions and then we'll be looking at the future. And the oracle cards are to represent right now, what's happening in the energy right now, what's evolving, what you don't see, um, what you're going through. So I'll get to the tarot after the oracle cards. One more. We have the king of pentacles. So this could be someone, it's very interesting with the card that came out. I do remember one card that came out for you, um, which was the connecting energy. And I feel like your person is evolving through the kings. Like I'm seeing the king of swords. Now I'm seeing the king of pentacles. So I feel like your person is evolving. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Perhaps wanting to bring in clarity and a stable offer.
We have the Six of Swords wanting to reconnect, wanting to reconnect with you, realizing that you're their Ten of Pentacles, that you're their Four of Wands. For some of you, you could be married to this person and in separation. Um, just a note for anybody who's watching my readings, I channel soul connections. I'm not, you know, I channel, if you resonate with my readings, you're probably someone who's into spirituality, who's into healing, looking at your own shadows. If you're not, my readings are probably not going to resonate to you. Um, Six of Swords, someone coming towards you wanting to reconnect. And I feel like you're trying to move on from them or you're focused on your own boat, you know, is what I'm seeing. So I'm just going to stick. Sorry, I'm just going to stick. Excuse my reach. Oh, my goodness. How rude of me. <laughs> I just wanted to stick pile two's tarot cards across the room because I'm going to use them later. Um, and knowing me, I'd pick them up and use them for you because <coughs> that's how special I am. Okay, so we have a lot of Oracle cards to get to. So let me just check these. This is you, and this is them, and this is connecting. <clears throat> so I'm going to stand up while I go over these so that I can know that it's lined up, <laughs> so that everything is in alignment. You can see the light shining through it. Isn't that beautiful? Like, look at the light shining through that. We have 10 on the bottom, so I don't take off my price tags. Um, so 10, Wheel of Fortune Energy, a turning point, someone making adjustments, someone spinning the wheel. So current energy, we have the king. And this is what I mean. I feel right now, this is masculine energy. So I feel right now, you and your person are both very much in masculine energy. Um, I feel like you're, you could be very focused on yourself, on your business, on your work, keeping busy. Um, I'm hearing the song Out of Reach by Gabrielle, Gabri Gabrielle, whatever it is. Um, saw the signs, wasn't right. I was stupid for a while, swept away by you. Now I feel like a fool, so confused, my heart's bruised. Was I ever loved by you out of reach? Um, so that could resonate because I just heard that. But I feel like right now you're both very much in masculine energy, very much focused on your own foundations, you know? And I feel like your person may be going through the evolution of the kings. And if you're into spirituality, you know what I mean, because you are probably someone, if you're a feminine, even if you're not, um, if you're a masculine who's on this healing journey, you may resonate with going through the court cards, like all of those energies, learning how to body, embody, embody and master all of them, you know? Um, I know I talk about it with you guys all the time, like working on our Queen of Swords energy, working on our Queen of Pentacles energy, just like masculines work on the King energies. Um, we all have these energies within us. I'm not gendering anybody. Um, but yeah, that's what we're seeing. And it feels to me like there's some type of offer coming because we had the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. And it feels like this person is leveling up in order to offer you something is what I'm hearing. We have Creativity 7, Chariot Energy. So it feels like right now you're both moving forward, perhaps on your own paths. This is Chariot Energy. You could, you and this person could have had cycles that you repeated together because I'm just seeing this um, swirl thing. This is my pile three. So usually my soul tribe is in here and I'm allowed to talk like a crazy person. <laughs> um, last night I was making some type of sauce and I was stirring it like without even thinking it. And I was looking at the way I was stirring it intuitively, like I was just stirring it, but I was stirring it in a really weird way. And I thought, am I stirring it in a figure eight? And then when I tried to stir it in a figure eight, I couldn't do it. And I couldn't understand what the motion I was doing. Like, this sounds crazy, I know. I was making a yin-yang symbol without even realizing it. I was stirring it like this. 
like repetitively and it was making this yin, this S in the middle, this yin yang symbol. It was so strange. It was so strange. Anyway, um, not that that has anything to do with anything. <laughs> but seven, you know, you could be really focused on your own creative endeavors right now. This person could be getting creative on how they level up, you know. Um, I feel like the two of you are evolving and coming back together, though. I just don't know if it's happened yet. You know, for some of you, maybe. But I think this is incoming. But anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time obsessing over that. So yeah, we have the king, which is masculine energy, knowing your worth. Uh, knowing what you deserve, having the cojones to go after what you want. You know, you could be someone who's right now going through the energy of going down different creative paths, putting energy towards your soul mission. You know, um, I'm seeing Queen of Wands. And perhaps this person is getting creative in the way they're trying, like they want to approach you or the way that they're, finding structure in their own life. It's forward movement, though. That's really good. So your person, we have get out of your head 37. And it feels like this person could be feeling the urge to come towards you, but they could be overthinking it. It feels like they may be going through what I'm hearing is they could be going through an ascension and they could be getting like intuitive downloads of you in the future together. And maybe, you know, it's triggering their ego a little bit. Maybe their ego right now is telling them that they shouldn't come near you. Um, to me, it looks like this was someone who was overthinking this connection. We have another 10. Um, remember, the crystal is 10 as well. So it feels like this is someone who... Maybe he was looking at this too logically in the past, and now they're trying to find a balance of looking at it logically and emotionally. Um, this could have been someone who talked themselves out of this connection. You know, they could have been, they could have tried to control it, the outcome. They could have tried to, <coughs> excuse me, they could have tried to push this away or maybe they tried to control it in some sense um hmm well i'm having a, i don't know if you guys have noticed but i've been coughing i just had to pause it because i had to cough again um i feel like this person has something they want to say but they're trying to get out of their head they could be really overthinking this right now um, they could be, you know, getting creative in ways where they come in. <laughs> like they could be thinking of ways to approach you is what I'm hearing. We have you are more 30 Empress energy. So I feel like right now you're in the energy of realizing that there's more to life than this person. There's more to life than waiting for someone. And like I said, I feel like you are someone who's kind of spreading your wings and flying. Um... You're finding that masculine and feminine energy within. I'm seeing balance, you know. I'm seeing you not only embodying that divine feminine energy, but also tapping into your masculine energy of knowing that you are more than enough, knowing that you deserve good things, that you, you know, maybe you're tapping into your confidence. It's very beautiful. I also feel like you're seeing this from a higher perspective here with this bird spreading its wings. Um, interesting. I want to look at this book, actually. I know, there it is. <clears throat> I know I have it out. 30. You are a light bringer. So you could be really focusing on, you could be a light worker. Like you could be realizing that you have, light work ability within you you have healers energy within you and you could be focusing on how you can help bring that into the world you know a light bringer you're realizing you're a light bringer often as a light bringer you have a deep relationship with pain but this was necessary for you to be able to shine 
so within the darkness. You have the ability to feel on deep levels and cannot endure the suffering of the world and its creatures. Your cries for justice might often fall on deaf ears, but you are meant to endure your pain and transmute it into light so that you can illuminate the world. Understand that you have a profound gift and your existence is a part of humanity's evolution to achieve great, its greatest potential, world peace. Your light heals, brings love, and dissolves suffering. Your light is who you are, and you must embrace your greatness and step into your shine fully. Beautiful. What was that? Yes, I'm the type of person who chases cars, just in case it's a sign. It was a black car. <laughs> I like just went, I hauled myself, threw myself across the room to see in case it was a synchronicity for you. It was a black Honda. <laughs> Anyway, this is also on page 69, which is a lover's connection that's helping you find your higher self. This also talks about um, you must do all the self work to remove the veils of ego from your heart so that you can be your full, your fully your highest self and allow the light of love to heal humanity. It's talking about reprogramming your toxic beliefs independently investigating your spiritual existence and your relationship with the great mystery and honoring your gift. So you could be one of my little butterflies who are starting your own channel or starting your own business. Shout out to you. And what I'm seeing in your person's energy is they're starting to get out of their head. They're starting to give into their intuition and to level up. Um, you know, maybe you had to get creative in ways to get this person to align with you. So you thought, I'll just work on me. <laughs> anyway, beautiful. That's the energy you're in. So I feel like you're focused on yourself right now. So we have the bee. Busy as a bee. You could be working. You know, this gives me light worker energy too. Working as a collective, finding your community, finding friends. Very focused on your growth here. That's air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be in the spotlight, my Aquariuses. My Aquariuses. Earnest, hardworking, content, active, vibrant. So you could be someone who's really feeling... The power of the collective, you could be in my soul tribe, you know, you could have found your other bees here in my comment section. Um, and you're very focused on I'm seeing the overall good, like this card says a light bringer. So you're getting creative in ways that you can bring your light to the world. Um, the bee personality is a delight to be around. Especially to be around. Ha ha ha. You're a delight to be around. Anyway. Bees love to work steadily and thoughtfully until the final task is complete. They are sensitive creatures aware of many subtleties at once. Hello, my intuitive high priestesses seeing through the veil. Artists at heart. They usually add creative details to the overall vision. So you're getting creative with the way you're bringing your light to the world. You're getting creative with how you're spending your time alone, how you're healing, how you're reflecting on yourself. Creativity. Beautiful. Remember not to overdo it because when you overdo it, you become annoyed with the journey. So just remember not to overdo it. <laughs> All right, and your person's energy is the swan. And it's very interesting because right now, I feel like maybe you think your person, it's kind of like you're facing away from each other. It's like you're walking the same path, but alone. And you could feel like they're not even thinking about you because I do see their, their body language in these cards is pointed this way, very focused on their own journey, their own growth. You are as well are facing away, focused on your journey and your growth, trying to rise above things here. Um, the swan, you know, this person is healing. There's a lot more going on than you can see with this person. Uh, the swan, you know, this is someone who's kind of following their intuition and trying not to listen to their ego. And their intuition is going to lead them back to you. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
And the thing about the swan is, is that you, you and this person could have mirrored each other. And I think they're doing a lot of reflecting right now on their own healing journey. They're trying to get out of their ego. I feel like their ego told them maybe that there was nothing wrong with them. I think that card talks about projection. So I feel like this could have been someone who projected their wounds onto you. And now in reflection, they're realizing that it was them that they were projecting something <coughs> about themselves outward. I definitely feel like your person has a lot to say. <coughs> I'm struggling. Um, with the swan, you know, like I said, it seems like this person may be just effortlessly moving on. But underneath, their little feet are like this. You know, they're very, they're working. They're working hard. Um, even if you can't see it, you know, with your eyeballs. For your side, we have the puppeteer explanations and apologies. And it feels to me like you may be someone who feels like this person owes you an apology or an explanation. And it's like, perhaps you're trying to manifest it. We see the hand and I kind of get the energy that you're trying to possibly manifest an apology from this person or manifest an offer from this person, you know, um, the ace of pentacles can be an apology. Um, I also feel like you are someone who is reflecting on your own shadows and doing the work like this card said, and you're forgiving yourself for some of the things that you did. You know, when your ego, when our ego controls us, you know, I see that as it, it's almost like someone else is controlling you when your ego's in charge. I'm seeing five of swords energy. So you could be reflecting on your own five of swords energy on maybe some of the things you need to apologize for. For a lot of you, I feel like you're calling in an apology, though. Um, anyway. And I also feel like you're learning not to apologize for who you are. You're embracing your crazy pants. Put them on. Don't they feel nice? <laughs> for your person side, we have communication and confidence. So someone trying to get the confidence to come towards you here. Look at all the imagery of this person facing away from you. So that's, I definitely feel like you're not talking to this person. But I feel like this person is, you know... Once they get that confidence, once they embody that emperor, they're, they want to say something to you here. Um, like I said, we saw the king of swords. We saw the king of pentacles. Um, it'll be interesting to see what comes out in tarot because, you know, once your person embodies all those kings, that's when they take action. That's when they become the emperor and they reach out. <clears throat> so yeah, we do have somebody intuitively guided to communicate with you here. And this person is really trying to get out of their ego. They're trying to listen to that inner knowing. Your person has King of Swords. I forgot about that. So definitely someone who's trying to perhaps take accountability, you know, perhaps they're taking accountability for their part in this. They're trying to gain clarity on the situation. Um, this could have been someone who became very, like, like I said, operating from a place of ego. If I'm being honest, when this card came out, I wasn't taking reversals, but it came out in reverse. And that showed me right away that this person may have had a hard time, you know, believing in the spiritual side of this connection they may have overanalyzed it they may have been too logical when looking at this connection and we have wisdom keeper hierophant energy so hierophant energy shows someone who could be you know tapping into their spirituality this could be someone who is getting advice from someone someone who is wiser than them it could be a family member. It could be a spiritual advisor. It could be a therapist. You know, this person is trying to tap into their inner wisdom when it comes to this connection. 
Uh, this could be someone who interesting. I'm just getting a feel for the energy here. Um, I'm just seeing like this person could be talking to an older feminine. Um, it's weird that I'm getting that. I'm almost seeing like a mother or a mother or like a older, like an aunt or an older sister um, who's giving them guidance, who's helping them reflect. I feel definitely that Hierophant energy. This person is starting to awaken to their intuition, to their to their intuition rather than, I never even noticed that, rather than their ego. If you notice, their throat chakra is red. Like I know the thro throat chakra is blue. And I do feel like this person could have a blockage there because I was having a lot of problems uh, speaking before. For your energy, we have the Page of Wands. So very tapped into your creativity, very tapped into your spirituality. You could be someone who's learning how to connect with your own spirit guides. Um, or you're strengthening your connection with spirit. You are thinking of creative ways to bring light to the world. Um, you're learning how to get creative in the ways you express yourself, you know, self-expression. Maybe you're someone who has a hard time expressing yourself. Maybe it's easier for you to express yourself through music, through creativity. Um, I'm definitely one of those people. And we have compassion. So learning how to embrace your ego, learning how to have compassion for yourself, compassion for people in a lower vibrational energy, people in their ego, um, strength. You know, you could be working on your confidence as well. I tell you, that strength card, it reminds me of how I want to hug the lower vibrational people in my comment section. You know, you could be someone who does want to help bring about world peace. And so many people are like, world peace, we should have world peace. And then they're all judging each other and treating each other like crap. Um, <laughs> anyway, I feel like you're starting to see through the veil and you're finding compassion for people who maybe you once couldn't find compassion for, you know. Um, anyway, that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. So if that resonates, let's look at the future of this connection. All right. Can you guys see the eclipse where you are? So let's have a refresher on the bottom of the energy because I've already forgotten. We've got the six of swords. So it feels like, you know, you're both moving forward. I feel like you're trying to move forward in your own lives, but there is this energy of reconnection um, of this person wanting to rebuild this foundation that came down the tower and the five of wands resolution. So yeah, it looks like this person wants resolution here. But anyway, let's have a look, my friends, at this connection. So we're going to look at the current energy between you. We have the eight of cups walking away. So current energy, someone has walked away from this connection. You know, the Eight of Cups can be the moment where you realize you can't fix this. So you walk away and trust that if it's meant for you, it'll come back to you. The Eight of Cups can be when you realize, you know, that a situation isn't making you happy. Um, so current energy, we do have this energy of separation, of transition, and I'm also seeing, because this is combined energy, that what no longer serves you both is starting to fall away, whether you want it to or not. So what I'm hearing is it could also be that you are actively healing, actively working. You're releasing thought patterns that don't serve you, fears that don't serve you, people, situations, communities that don't serve you. And it could be that this person is being, it could be that things are being removed from them, you know, in order to wake them up, in order to get them to tap into this hierophant energy. Um, 
Interesting. I think it's interesting too how your person's energy was facing this way. So it could have been that they walked away from this connection is what I'm hearing. And we have the five of pentacles so and the five of swords. So there's this energy of feeling isolated from each other. Currently, there's isolation here. And I feel like your person may be having things removed from them. They could be experiencing some karma. And, you know, the universe is trying to wake them up towards this. <clears throat> I don't know. I think your person wants to reach out with that king energy. Let's see your current energy. What is your energy? We have the queen of cups. Yes. Focused on yourself. Yes. Healer. Focusing on being a healer. On healing yourself. On helping to heal others. The queen of cups. Tapping into your intuitive gifts. You know, focusing on yourself. Falling in love with yourself, accepting your weaknesses, showing compassion for people who need it. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Beautiful. And we have the emperor. So right now, your current energy, like I said, it's masculine energy. You're realizing your worth and you're taking moves to stabilize yourself. You're taking moves towards possibly, you know, a new career here or your own empire beautiful let's get your person's energy six of swords so <clears throat> what did i say about your person's energy what did i say i said they could be going through tower moments you know they maybe didn't want to move away from certain things so the universe is like i'm going to take that away from you eight of cups um six of swords their current energy you know they're trying to move forward i have the tower on the bottom so it feels like, to me, they want to come. I feel like they're, they experience tower moments in their life. They experience lessons in their life that made them see this clearly. I think that maybe if they tried to run or move away from this connection, the universe kind of stopped them with towers to point them back in the right direction. And I feel like through trying to move on, this person has had clarity that there's something very special here. Five of Wands sh shows they want to resolve this. Um, six of Swords, you know, this person getting creative in the ways they're going to approach you. This person could be moving. Um, they could be going through some transition in their life with the Six of Swords. All right, let's see how you're feeling about this person. We have the Chariot and Judgment wanted to come out. So judgment does show that you feel like this person needs to take accountability. I feel like maybe with the judgment card, you know, you've had an awakening about this connection, but we have the chariot for how you feel about this connection. So it is that energy. I feel like you're trying to keep going. You're trying to move forward, um, whether it means with or without this person. Um Five of Swords, I do feel Five of Swords, that's the energy of, you know, self-sabotage. So you could feel about this person that they sabotaged this, you know, Five of Swords, this person could have projected onto you. There's someone here, so my dogs are going to bark. Hang on. All right, the person's gone. I think my, I think my dogs are done barking. <clears throat> So what we're seeing here for how you feel about this person, I do feel like maybe you felt let down. You know, I just see this as someone who ran a marathon and they're dropping to their knees. So you may have surrendered this connection because it got to be too much. Um, I do feel like maybe your person projected onto you because this get out of your head card can talk about that little ego monster inside of you that projects onto others what you truly feel about yourself. And I feel like this person, you feel like they self-sabotaged the forward movement in this connection um, is what I'm seeing. The chariot for how you feel about this person, you know, I feel like you want them to take action towards you. I feel like you're trying to move on or you're trying to move forward and not become like get stuck waiting for this person. <clears throat> 
excuse me. <laughs> How are they feeling about you? We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun. So right now, this is someone who's seeing... For how they're feeling about you, they're having a realization that they want to invest in this. The Eight of Pentacles is renewal energy. So it's like this person is having this realization that they want to heal this, that they want to invest in this. Um, interesting. The sun, for how they feel about this, they miss your energy. You know, they miss your positivity. They miss your healing energy. You are a healer and they miss that in their life. I think that's interesting. We have strength here. So this person, you know, feels this spark between you, this connection between you. They could have a hard time. They could be really tested right now. Like their ego could be really testing them right now. Um, they want to bring clarity, the sun. They could be working on some type of apology here with the laptop. We see this person working on something. And it seems like they're gaining clarity about something. I want to get another one for how they're feeling about you. How are they feeling about you? The moon in reverse. So there's fear here. Um, I feel like they're afraid they've gone too far. They're afraid, you know, oh, this person... One thing that I'm seeing is they're actively like their ego is at war with their intuition. And there is fear here. Interesting. I want to get one more. King of Wands. They feel like taking action towards you. They feel a very um, strong energy between you. So we have the King of Pentacles, the King of swords and the king of wands all we need is that king of cups to know that your person is going to reach that emperor energy you know we've seen the king of wands this is someone who definitely has like a sexual attraction to you they feel energetically connected to you interesting this person could have um, hid something from you in the past and maybe there's, you know, regret about that. For how they feel about you, Queen of Swords, your boundary is up. <laughs> you could be, look, they're overthinking about you. You know, there's fear here that they've gone too far, that you've, you know, that boundary's up now. No soup for you. <laughs> I want to see how you're feeling. I want to get another one for how you're feeling about them. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So there's this energy that you invested in this and it ended. You know, you feel like you invested in this person and perhaps you never saw the rewards for your investment. And you're realizing after an ending that you deserve more, you know, that you could have, again, you could have awakened from this connection and you're working on your soul path. The high priestess shows a very intuitive, you have a very intuitive connection with this person, high priestess, queen of cups, Um, even though there was an ending, you know, you're feeling disconnected from this person. Um, I want to see the near future of this connection, what's happening in the near future. What's happening in the near future? We have the Emperor. Oh my gosh. And the Five of Wands. So we have this person taking action, wanting to resolve this. We see the blockage coming down. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see how that jumped out in my hand? The Emperor? It was like it was like someone someone else is here and placed it in my hand. It was so weird. It was like that one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so we have the Emperor, so this person taking action. You go from holding back to trying to work it out, Three of Pentacles. Um, let's get another one for near future. Near future energy. Hmm? Didn't want to come out. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. So look at this, this is very telling. This is very telling. This person is approaching you, I can tell, because we have the Emperor, and I kind of placed it on that side and you on this side without even thinking. 
and the Queen of Pentacles. We have you sharing your gift with the world, focusing on your own foundation, maybe start focusing on your new business. Um, look at you sharing, sharing your gift with the world here. Um, being a leader, you know, being a healer, I meant to say. And I see this person approaching you. Look at this leap of faith. If I lay these out, I see a queen of pentacles focused on themselves. I see an emperor taking action towards you. Look at that. This person taking a leap of faith towards you. Trying to find middle ground, I'm hearing. Knight of pentacles, four of swords, and the empress. Okay? All right? For what's coming. This is knight of pentacles. Someone is slowly coming towards you, determined. We have the four of swords, the end of the break. This person coming out of gaining clarity and then communicating. And then we have the Empress and Three of Cups, which is energetic flow, communication. All right. I want to see what action this person is going to take. I'm just going to ask. I'm not going to be shy. What action are you going to take, Emperor? We have the Ace of Wands. I told you they're going to take action. I told you. I told you. I told you here first. <laughs> The Ace of Wands, I told you, this Emperor is taking action and we have the Hierophant. So they're going to communicate what they've been gaining clarity on. They're going to communicate a truth, what they've realized, what they've reflected on, what that person helped them with. Um, this is commitment energy, you know? Beautiful. What advice do you need about this person? We have the Six of Wands. So my friends, keep focusing on being a light. Keep focusing on your soul path. Keep focusing on getting yourself out there. Six of wands, you know, you could be someone who's meant to be in the spotlight leading people. This is showing me that there's success here with this person, but to focus on your own success right now. And this person will catch up. I mean it. Don't chase. Uh, let's see the future of this connection, please, Spirit. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? We have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Told you. Queen of Wands. What did I say when I was on this? Oh, look, you guys, look at what we have. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. And we did have the Queen of Swords. And the Empress. So this is you embodying all of those energies. And what's happening over here? Your person is mirroring you. And we see this person coming towards you. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. You know, Queen of Wands shows you tapping into your creative power. Being a light for others. Possibly being in the spotlight. Being confident and independent. And this person coming towards you. We have Eight of Wands, which is communication, rapid growth, forward movement. That's what's in the future for the two of you. We have the Lovers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me as your future outcome? Come on. See? Don't worry. Before you know it, you'll be back on that speeding train again with your person. Holding on for dear life. <laughs> um, this is beautiful. I see evolution, you know? I definitely see this person coming towards you with communication and I see evolution, the two of you growing into these, you know, into these, your the highest versions of yourself. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Any last words, spirit? Last card. Any last words, spirit? We have 10 of swords. <laughs> We have Ten of Swords in Reverse, which came out at the end of Pile 2, which is about reconnection. Um, remember your boundaries, okay? I just heard something with this. This person could come in to reconnect. Just remember your boundaries, you know? Ten of Wands in Reverse shows someone coming towards you wanting to unload their burdens, wanting to, like, unload their burdens, you know? And just... Remember your boundaries and remember if you are someone who has a lot of resentment and a lot of grudges against this person and if they come in, 
you know, trying to heal this and they're met with that, it could deter them from wanting to reconnect. It could push them away is what I'm hearing. Again, you can have boundaries without being too harsh, okay? Um, you can protect yourself while still being open. Um, anyway, interesting. Ace of Cups. So there it is. There's the offer that we saw in the very beginning. There's all your queens too. You've got every queen out. So that's that shows me we've got every queen on the table. So you're working towards Empress energy, my friend. Don't give up. Don't give up is what I'm hearing. Anyway, the future of this connection looks good. It looks like the both of you evolving into your highest selves. And it shows the lovers, the two of you coming back together. Beautiful. Final words for the future. I know I said that was the last card. I just feel like I need to get one more for the future for some reason. We have the four of wands. Are you freaking kidding me? My guides were like, just get one more card. Just get one more card for the future. Oh my gosh. And I wondered, is the four of wands going to come out? That's insane. That is crazy pants. That is crazy pants. I got to learn how to listen to my guides more because I heard it and I was like, I'm just going to do it. One more for future energy. Four of wands, marriage. In case you needed confirmation, because I felt, that's what I felt. My guides were like, just get them one more because I think they need a little bit more clarification or something. Anyway, that was amazing. So my pile three is that is your reading. I hope it resonates. Enjoy the eclipse. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light and I will talk to you soon. It's two, three, four here. Two, three, four. You're on the right path. Keep going. Everything's aligning. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.